Hi everyone, we're up at the hill climb today with a brand new bike to test. The bike we've got today is a Rocky Mountain Instinct Power Play with 108 Newton meters of torque. We're interested to see how this goes against the other bikes we've tested so far, which is a Turbo Canevo, Focus Jam Squared and a Merida E160. Also, we're going to add 10% more power by tuning it and then see how it compares to the standard settings. Let's talk about the track. It's 200 metres in length, it's 17.5% average gradient, and it's 30% at the steepest point. We chose this track because it's fairly wide open, fairly smooth, you can see from the footage behind me, so rider school wasn't involved. And so we can really rely on and draw from the individual strengths from each of the e-bike motors. Okay, we're lucky enough to have a brand new Rocky Mountain to test today. Someone's let us borrow it to take it up the hill. We're not going to take it on our normal trails and do jumps and things like that because it's not our bike. We don't want to do any damage to it. We're just going to talk a bit about it, what we think about it before we get into the hill climb test. So what we've immediately noticed, it's 23.9 kilos, but it feels quite light and quite fast. If you're on the flat or small inclines, you put it up in the full power mode and pedal along, it really takes off and propels you quite easily. And it seems to activate the power really quick with quite a lot of grunt, that low end power. At high cadence, it feels similar to the Bosch or the Bros in that the power sort of seems to fade away as you're pedaling faster and faster. It's 160 mil front, 155 mil at the back. Feels quite good just riding around, but as we said, we haven't taken it over any serious obstacles today, so we can't assess that too much. We like the discrete power control on the handlebars with no display, it's very seamless. And it's just easy, it gives you the ease to switch modes and a little light display to tell you how much battery you've got. You don't need more than that unless you really want to monitor your stats and then in that case, you can use the PowerPlay app on your mobile phone. That'll give you a speedo. It also gives you full customizability of the power settings, which we really like. We think that all e-bikes, you should be able to customize the power settings to your needs. And a lot of the manufacturers are implementing this these days. Rather than being integrated into the bottom bracket, it's got a separate cog that drives the chain. So this is interesting. It's, it feels a little bit different in that uh, through the pedals there's almost a bit of, you can feel the cog turning the chain. The motor's very quiet. Uh, I believe this is because it spins at around 1200 RPM, significantly slower than the bottom bracket driven engines that spin at a higher RPM, but then have a reduction gearbox. Whereas the, the motor on the Rocky Mountain spins only at 1200 RPM is reduced less. We'll now get into the hill climb runs. We'll see how the bikes goes up the hill compared to the other bikes as well as how the tuned bike goes compared to the standard bike. Here I go on the Rocky Mountain. One, two, three. One hundred and eight newton meters and ten percent. I think I need more newton meters. Still tough.
it's still hard work on the Rocky Mountain. Just hoping it would be easier. Okay, we're at the top of the hill. We've done our runs on this incredible bike with 108 Newton meters. Lachlan's gonna come in now and share with you the leaderboard and see how it went. Okay, so using our leaderboard tree, you can see the Rocky Mountain ended up in between the Bros and the Bosch. Both the standard and the tune bikes slotted in between there. If we look over on this side of John, you can see the times for our, each of our runs. You can see that the tuned bike with the extra 10% power was slightly faster, just a small difference for each of those runs. Okay, so up here on the right, what we're going to do is just put the average times of all the bikes that we've done thus far, so you can just check them out. But that's a wrap. We thank you for uh, watching today. We hope you enjoyed the content. And if you do, remember to like and subscribe. And coming up next is our EP8 in our 2019 Merida. We can't wait to put that to the test up the big hill.